Good morning, good morning. Happy Wednesday, happy hump day. Happy wonderful Wednesday, amen. Um, I want to read this quote from Winston Churchill. It says, if you don't have any enemies in life, you have never stood up for anything. This is powerful because in order for us to stand up against the grain, against all odds, against the norm, against the trend, right? Against the, I would say the majority vote, the majority opinion, thoughts, arguments in order to stand up against any of that. Come on. I'm talking about in the church. I'm talking about in in government. I'm talking about in the neighborhood, wherever you are, in the family, right? You got to have boldness, man. And that boldness, listen, that is not natural. That boldness comes by the spirit of God that lives inside of us. No wonder God was like, listen, them that suffer with me will be raised with me. That same spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead, that's the same spirit, that power because of his grace and mercy that we don't deserve, it's in us. And so we have that ability to be bold. Let me tell you some benefits of boldness. It keeps us from running. We can stop running from our enemies and from the things that challenge us. And we can face these things because of boldness. And we have this boldness because of faith. It allows us to approach God in prayer. It allows us to ask for things, right? And also, we are protected from being a prey because of boldness. Boldness gives you a voice. It builds your confidence. It allows you to set goals. It allows you to pursue dreams and purpose. Boldness separates you from the norm. It separates you from the trend and it separates you from the majority vote. Sometimes it's okay to go against the grain. I'll be the first one. I love being different. But that's something that we even had to be bold enough to proclaim. So walk in boldness. Today's your day. God bless you. Have a good day.